I figured we would do uh, who is more likely game with our family. Drop in the comments some of these that are applicable to you so that we get to know you better as well. Who is most likely to have <laughs> Definitely Julia. Do. Who's most likely me? No, for sure me. I'm Are you <laughs> kidding? What are you laughing about? Welcome to today's video. So today is the Monday of the Thanksgiving weekend, the Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. We're going to an agricultural fair today. This is one of the things that we actually love doing as a family. We like, <laughs> they're checking a dog out on the street right now. Looks like bear. <laughs> that was going for a walk that wasn't loose. We love touring around and checking things out locally. So whether it is marketplaces or fairs. We love doing antique shopping actually. We used to do that all the time before COVID. We would go to places and check out the antique barns and just tour around. That was probably one of our favorite things that we would do as a family before COVID happened. So I thought right now on the drive up, I figured we would do uh, who is more likely game with our family to see what everyone says. So we're gonna fire through these questions and then later today when we get home, we're gonna sit down and answer all the questions you guys sent us in. Before we get into this video though, if you haven't subscribed and you're getting value from our videos, go ahead and hit subscribe, like in the notification bell. That is what helps us grow on YouTube. It's what helps us also know what content you guys really are enjoying and what you wanna see us put out more of. This is how it's gonna work. Are you paying attention back there, Kate? So, I'm gonna read out a question and you just have to say quickly which say which one of us you think is most all likely. Of us? Yeah, yeah, out of okay. mommy, daddy, you, or okay. Kate. Okay, ready? First one. Who's most likely to finish eating first? Daddy. Yeah, daddy. for sure, daddy. <laughs> he usually has his dinner scarfed down before I'm even like done cutting food up for Julia or whatever. All right, who is most likely to talk in their sleep? Uh, Julia. Me. Julia, I guess, yeah. Who is most likely to have a messy room? Julia. <laughs> most I likely do. to. I already do. <laughs> Definitely I already Julia. Who's most likely? Her room at all times. It's disgusting. Looks like a tornado hit it. We actually moved her to a smaller room because, <laughs> because I thought I'll keep her contained. <laughs> it's, that didn't work. It's easy. It didn't really work, no. <laughs> Who's most likely to become a vegetarian? Julia. Julia. <laughs> Julia gets very offended, especially now that she loves the chickens and now that we're on a farm, she does not enjoy eating meat. Who is most likely to cheer another person up? I'm gonna say Julia. What would you say? Uh, I'd say Julia. I feel like you wouldn't do anything. I, said I, I feel like I cheer <laughs> you guys up the most. Julia is always the one that will come up and like just give you a hug for no reason at all. Not she, a stranger, I'll do it to like. Yeah, you do it to strangers too, not a hug, but like yeah, she'll yeah. try and like say something nice to someone if they look sad. She would always be the kid that she would come home from school and be like, oh, this, this little girl or this little boy looked sad at recess, so I went up and asked if he needed a friend. Like, she used to do this stuff all the time. She'll just come up and be like, Mommy, you're the best mommy in the whole entire world. She's the sweetest little thing. Who is most likely to take forever to make a decision? Mommy. You. <laughs> for, sure, for sure me. I am an overthinker, and I have to analyze everything. It takes me forever to make a decision. Who is most picky about their food? Julia. Julia, yeah. for sure. She's definitely a picky one. Who's most likely to know what day it is? Me. No, for sure me. I'm, are you <laughs> kidding me? I'm gonna go with Kate on that one. What are you Kate. laughing about? I'm, gonna I'm go the one that's Kate. always organizing no. everyone. No, the amount of time you told me it's Thursday when it's actually like Monday. Okay. Yeah. 
fine. I'm gonna say Kendrick because we need a schedule. That's true. Okay. Schedule Day of the days. week. Yes, Kate is the one that knows. Yeah. Yeah, but anything that's going on, definitely me. Yeah, I've I got my list and my sticky notes, notes and it's on my agendas. But that's not a day of the week. All right. Event is not okay, a day fine. Of the week. Kate wins that way. Yeah. Who's most likely to wear their shirt backwards? Julia. Mommy. Not me. Julia. It happens no, all the time. No, I don't. Julia, it happens all the time. Yeah, Ju I would say Julia. It literally happens all the time. All right, who's most likely to eavesdrop on a conversation? Mommy. I do it all the time. Hey. I feel like we all kind of do hey. it. <laughs> hey. You do it all the time, actually. I would say we're all pretty guilty of that. And then we start talking, the other person's like, you don't even know what we're talking about right now. We're all pretty guilty of that. Who is most likely to build an epic fort? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, I have to do it with everyone all the time. When we're I kind of feel like, I feel like you and we could me. all, mommy and daddy, like if we get involved, we're like, let's make this really cool. Scott used to really like help Kate when she was little build like crazy forts. But I would say when you guys are with the cousins and stuff, Kate's the one that really like gets it crazy and everyone, awesome. Everyone else just runs and gets me the like, and Julia has all the ideas. So I would say everyone. Who is most likely to have to stop on a car ride to go for a pee? Julia. Oh, I would say me. No, mommy. I'm always the yeah, one that's like, I have to pee. <laughs> Who's most likely to get the whole family in trouble? I'm gonna yeah. say Scott. Dad. He's always kind of keeping us in check. Like it's, it's time to go or let's go get this done. I would say we're more laid back and he's definitely the one that's like, let's let's get this done. Who's most likely to eat food off the floor? Me. I'm gonna say you. <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> if candy that's falls disgusting. Off of the <laughs> There's so much germs. Five second rule. No, definitely not me. I'm a bit of a germaphobe. <laughs> From that reaction. I have OCD, so. <laughs> it's clearly you. So I definitely am like, no, that's dangerous. It, there could be bacteria I on that. Say it's either daddy or Kate. Uh, okay. I don't. I, do I didn't really realize Kate, but I would say Scott's definitely the most laid back of everyone. So he's like, ah, it's fine. <laughs> it most likely is fine, but I'm definitely more panicky about stuff. Wait, as long as wait, the dogs off. didn't get to it, then I'll. <laughs> as long as the dogs didn't get to it. Who's most likely to sing along to car music? Me. You. For sure, Scott. Daddy. Unless I'm in the car with the girls, then I crank up the music that if it's like old music, that's 80s cool. and 90s We're music, not. anything that's not those. current actually, <laughs> then I like start singing and dancing just kind of to bug yeah, them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're joking around. They're like, oh, it's so terrible. Some not very good. many of my songs do you like though. No. All right. Who's most likely to climb a mountain? For sure, Scott. Yeah, he I is agree. the adventurous one. You've probably climbed a mountain. Yeah, he actually toured around when we were in university. He did like a farmer's exchange program thing. For three months. And then the, oh, the, and other, the, seven, the other. And then you were just touring yeah. on your own. Yeah, so for three months. So he went and toured all around the world, but he's done bungee jumping and he's done like all the crazy stuff. I am definitely beyond cautious, which, <laughs> I'm assuming surprise. doesn't surprise anyone. No, <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> I'm definitely the rule follower and the one that's like, no, that's not safe. Let's not do that. But he's the one that likes to push boundaries and he's like, it's an adventure. Let's live for the moment. I feel like you jump out of a plane and stuff too. Sure. Nothing really scares him. He's all about the adventure. Who's most likely to want to see the ocean? I'd say we'll all of us. We, well, before COVID, we loved traveling. We would save our money from other things and we would always keep a travel fund and we would save up money so that every year we could go on a trip. We would usually do cruises because I was a wizard at getting amazing deals. Our meals would be included and we would see all the islands and the girls would be on beaches. We would have shows at night, it was perfect. So that is what we would usually do. Scott and I especially, we don't really like flying so much anymore. We've had a couple of flights that were kind of scary and so now we don't love to fly, <laughs> love to fly. But I do miss the ocean. I love the water. We live by the Great Lakes here. We will often just go down to the beach and like sit by the water, listen to the waves, pick stones, and Julia loves looking for sea glass. But it's hard now that we have the animals. That was one of the things that we had to sacrifice was and it's something that we really discussed as a family before. If we get a horse 
it means that is now our trip fund. So the money that we saved for our trips now goes towards taking care of the horses. So you have to kind of decide what you want to do. But we figured we get enjoyment out of this as a family all year long versus like a week or two. So that was all right for us. All right, next. Who is most likely to get sick? Julia, Julia yeah. for sure is, she has a lot of health issues. She gets sick very easily and so do I. Her and I are very high risk for always getting sick, especially like pneumonia and stuff. Kate was, I think you were like five before she ever even had a cold. She is the best immune system. Scott has a pretty great immune system as well. Who is most likely to want to pet a dog when you're walking by on the street? Me, I do it all the time. We were at the I would fair. say all of us actually. We were yeah. at the yeah. fair and I was like, I should, we should pet yeah. dogs. Yeah, we are all like really dogs. attracted to animals. We're like, oh, but we always ask first, but I would say all of us. Who is most likely to make a mess? Julia. I would say Julia, but I would also say I would yes. also say Scott because he leaves everything everywhere, and then he's always like, "It's a mess in here." <laughs> I'm like, "Half of it's yours." Who is most likely to talk someone's ear off? Jen. Yeah, definitely me. I am like a mile a minute. I'm actually really shy. And me. But it's how I like. Once I got out of high school, it's how I like mask my shyness. Is I just don't stop talking. Can you talk to and strangers. yeah, and Julia d is the same. I can talk to like my friends after I get to know them for a while. Then I will start on like talking to them. Yeah. I will go talk to strangers. Yeah, Julia and I are definitely chatterboxes, and we also jump all over in a conversation. Oh, and someone's I'm, like, I'm really well, "How did you start talking that. about that?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's like." <laughs> I won't even finish explaining. Yeah, we're really bad about that. If I'm telling you about what happened at school, I'll say one thing that happened at like second period and then I'm all the way like fourth period and then I'm first period and then it's back to fourth, then third. Like I'm all over the place. <laughs> I can't stay in one spot. I'll like half explain stuff. And yeah, then I'll remember but, something else, jump to that, and then I'll go back to what I was saying. Yeah, that's totally true. Yeah. But the funny thing is, is because we're like that and especially my family is yeah, like that we all understand each other so I think it's more difficult for outside people to follow along with us and we're probably like <laughs> just tune out and don't bother following yeah Scott just tunes us out <laughs> who is most likely to have 10 dirty cups in their room Me. Julia Julia oh, oh and Kate, Kate actually yeah. yeah okay wait they're Not both anymore, really bad but when it was online school yeah when they were doing yeah. online when they were doing online school. I have school, like 10 mugs in my room and like three plates. I would come down, I'd be like, this is disgusting. Like bring your dishes upstairs. I'm good now though. I don't have wow. it in my room. Especially when they're not supposed to be eating in their room for that very reason, but there's always stuff down there. Who is most likely to save their money? Me. Yeah, Kate and me. I am a saver. Julia's pretty good too. Julia no. just has her what? hand, Are you just has her hand out. No! She's asking me for money. Julia she won't even have money and she'll be looking for stuff yeah, to buy. No, Julia's the worst with money. Julia Julia's like... Julia's dollars and she's looking on Amazon. Yeah, it's like it's burning a hole in her pocket. If she has money, she needs to spend it. <laughs> Julia's terrible <laughs> with her money. And I am definitely the budgeter. Who is most likely to design their own dream house? Sure. Me, for yeah. sure. I'm a planner, I'm a designer. When we were doing all of our renovations, no matter what we're doing, I have drawings, I am like searching up prices for items, I am making sure that we're doing it for the cheapest amount possible, but also that it's gonna last us long. To the point that when we were doing our kitchen renovation and I brought in designs to the I kitchen to company, they were like, I've never seen anything like this. And We'll take pictures to, sh to show the crazy lady who comes with the designs. Who is most likely to wear shorts on a freezing day? Kate, for sure. And me. Okay. And no, not me. And Kate. I'd be wearing shorts right now. Yeah. I'd be wearing shorts in like Scott, a yeah, no, that's too. true. Daddy too. He, he does it in the winter half the time. Yeah. And Julia and I are bundled up. I do not care how ridiculous I look. You'll see, like, when we go to the barn for lessons. I am in three layers of clothes. I have hats, mitts, I, and I've been like that since I was a kid. I didn't care if I would get made fun of on school ski trips. I was in that one piece snowsuit with the goggles and the face warmer. I don't, <laughs> I don't like being cold and I'm not afraid to look ridiculous. <laughs> 
being warm is more important than looking cool to me. Who is most likely to win in a snowball fight? Me. I feel like Scott. Yeah. I feel like he takes all competition pretty seriously. <laughs> Who is most likely to complete a dare? For sure Scott. He's, again, up for anything. He's definitely the more outgoing. He's really quiet on our channel, so you wouldn't guess that, but I'm actually the shy one and the more reserved one, and he's actually the life of the party one. <laughs> all right, who is most likely to eat all of their Halloween candy right away? Me. Yeah, Scott. I don't eat theirs. Scott actually yeah, he always does. takes the kids' candy and it. decimates it's, their bag, like within a couple of days. It's a Halloween tax. Yeah, they they legit hide their candy on him. One of the shows that we, we love watching, the parents always prank the kids that they ate all their Halloween candy and then the kids are all upset the next morning. And then they're like, just kidding. Well, that's like our house, except Scott can't say just kidding. He's like, sorry, I got life lessons. I got hungry. <laughs> he didn't say sorry. He's just like, well, too bad. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even say it better. Life lessons. <laughs>